Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones Lunatic Mode. I am Mecha. Joined here once again with some monster hunting. It's Raisins. How's it going, man? Doing excellent. Doing chapter four today. Ancient horrors. Uh, the first monster map of the game. First of many. And I'm really excited to get into it. It's a nice, chill map. Just do some training. Yeah, absolutely. I think if this is your first impression of monsters, then you're going to think that they're all super, super weak. And most of them are. Uh, these are the renovants. They are like... I think they have... Yeah, they literally have zero attack speed, so they get doubled by just about everything, even if they have a bit of speed, kind of like soldiers. And they just have a massive HP pool, and that's about it. So they're not much stronger. You could set the growths to like 150% additive or whatever it is, and they would still be a total, total joke, probably. Um, eyeballs uh, over here, these moguls, also pretty weak. They're kind of like shamans, but more fragile because they use dark magic. Uh, but they have low durability, low speed, everything. So pretty much like you said, it's a training map. And uh, Raisins, I'm thinking we focus on uh, on Ross and Vanessa today. I think we let our poor, poor Ford imitator Franz just help out whenever he can. But I don't think we focus on him too hard, right? We just do Vanessa and Franz for now, right? Yeah, I gave you some secret information about Franz that did not make you very happy uh, after we completed last map. But I know they're brothers, but damn. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the 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 trick is, guys, if Franz gets another level and he doesn't get strength or speed, his bases are the same as Ford's. They're actually worse, in fact. Disgusting. So he does need one more level, though, to match it. Otherwise, we could, you know, we could use the whole lower level means higher EXP gain argument. <laughs> Don't want so. that. We do have a new uh, recruit over here, Artur. And, you know, it might be cool to talk about it with the preps music in the background because, you know, we haven't had the chance to do battle preps yet either. So, I guess we'll take a look at him. Uh, Artur, let me get his grats, grats, stats, and growth his, on his screen. Grats. His grats. Look at his grats. His, congrats. We put his stats on screen. Uh, Artur is a monk, and just like with Gilliam and Oswin, when I first saw Artur, I was like, oh, it's going to be like FE7 Lucius, who is a mage with really high offenses, magic, and speed. And so I thought he'd be amazing. And Archer, I think, is like a slightly more underwhelming version, but he's still offensively capable of doing things. It's just he is less spectacular, less lopsided than Lucius is. But he can still do most of the same things, just hit people from one to range, hit on their lower resistance stat, which I did not boost uh, with, the, with the lunatic mode uh, growth. Remember, the defense and resistance are the same as they are in vanilla. So enemies will have more HP but Archer will do the same amount of damage to them, and that could be a relatively high amount of damage. Of course, he is kind of plagued by the fact that light magic has lower might than, for example, anima magic and dark magic, so he kind of has to work a bit harder than that. But he does have good enough speed to double a fair amount of things. Obviously, he doubles everything in this chapter because everything here is slow, but even in the following chapters, as long as he gets a couple speed procs, he should be able to double things like fighters and later on like cavaliers. Depends on, this, on the growth and the enemy growth, of course, but usually he gets there. Maybe in the plus 60% growths, he won't be as lucky, and that's going to be real harsh for him, because if he only hits a single time, I don't know if I can really justify using him, and I might be more interested in using loot, for example, who we'll also get into in this map. But generally, I like Archer just okay, uh, but he does have some flaws, like low durability, uh, low luck, so a lot of things I've crit on him, and uh, the low might of the light magic, which I've already gone into, but... You know, generally he's fine, and when he promotes, he gets Slayer as a Bishop, or you can go Sage, but generally I think Bishop is better, and that gives him at least effective damage on monsters, uh, which right now they're not a threat, but later on there are some monsters that are a threat, so that could be helpful as well. So there's a lot to like about Archer, but he's not without weaknesses. Um, anything to add to that? Any of your experiences? Uh, no, I think you I, I think you covered him pretty well. I think you undersold him a little bit. I think he's actually pretty strong and a lot of it is due to the bishop promotion giving slayer i mean it really can't be overstated like if we just look at lightning right so if we open up this tome it has four might so if you go bishop that's like plus eight attack against monsters and that's that's literally as low as it goes right you know you can pick up a shine tome if you if you're so inclined you can pick up even like a divine tome to attack some other guys so like if we like we, we could talk about entombed or spiders or whatnot like they usually tend to be like pretty slow and then just having tons of effective might against them is actually pretty nice now could that maybe be an issue for Arter because it means he's more likely to do the whole suffer from success especially with his low durability you know where an enemy attacks him and then Arter just kills the guy opening up the square for another enemy to attack yeah that could be an issue but I mean I still think like you know getting all this extra attack against monsters and with a frankly not terrible base magic stat is really nice I actually kind of like him a lot 
as you mentioned, the Sage promotion is, in my opinion, it's like a, it's like a Link Arena novelty only. I think, yeah. it, I think <laughs> in the main campaign, Bishop is just way better, and like it's not even close. So e even the staff rank is like immediately C as opposed to E. It's just it's so far and away the better promotion. Uh, he's also kind of like the poster child for don't use your Draco shield on the low defense unit, right? Because <laughs> like, what does it do? I remember you made this. I remember you made this video a long time ago. Like, oh, it's natural to think he has a weakness, so let's give him a Draco shield. It doesn't actually do anything most of the time. Yeah, but just, that's just that's, just accept that he's like, frail and like move on. Give the Draco shield to someone who will actually take more hits than you know they did before. Better. Exactly. Yeah. It, like, just j just accept the fact that he's very frail. Like, you're you're not going to change that. Just play around it more so. But yeah, no, I actually really like him. I think eight base speed is really good, and I think his bishop promotion is just nuts. Yeah, I just hope that his uh, his forty percent speed procs enough to keep up with the enemy. But that's what we're here to find out. I guess we should give him some kills. Uh, he's not bad, but I have some other plans that might do not involve him. So we'll see if he ends up impacting things a whole lot. Um, so mm -hmm. what I was thinking here is Ross can't do a lot turn one, so I have to save him a little bit. Uh, usually I send Vanessa down here where the sword enemies are, but I want to try having her fight some of the enemies here for a change. You know, do things slightly differently if I can. So maybe Archer can help weaken this guy to 20 HP. And then Vanessa can come in with a Javi for, say, enough to pinch him off. And then she's in there range of both moguls. And I don't think she doubles, depends on their speed probably. But... You know, but I mean, like counterattacking with a javelin once is probably still better than oh, you know oops. what. Oh, come oh. on, dude! <laughs> oh, I got a kill on him, and the animation curse happened. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Archer, come here! Why'd you do that? That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Oh, well, yeah, no. they'll still attack Vanessa. Um, her res should be lower than Artur's. Um, six, six and five, so like yeah. five, Fair and then weapon triangle yeah. also factors in. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, Eric, I know we miss it in the uh, unit analysis, but. I feel like Vanessa comes from the days when they thought Pegasus Knights ought to have high defense, right? Like that six base is kind of, kind of pretty high if you think about it. Uh huh. For a lot of these, let's go raw series. Well, we got to save dodge animation. So, <laughs> yeah, that never happens with their low speed. I'll just let Ross do this guy on his own, and meanwhile we'll have I don't know maybe Erica send in the forest and fight these guys, or Ross can also do it. Yeah, it seems pretty good. You said our goals this map was like lots of VXP on Ross and lots of VXP on Vanessa. I'm pretty sure we could get Ross to 10 this map, what you reckon? Yeah, I think if Ross made it to 10 this map, that would be a huge boon for Chapter 5, which... Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think it's impossible to beat or anything without it, but it would be a huge help to have an extra pair character who can contribute instead of not doing anything. Oh yeah, like the 5 move and... It's not like... It's not huge. Okay, we're probably going pirate, right? It's not huge, like the amount of stats you get, but it's like... It's more than a good level, so like that alone is. Yeah, and it's plus one move as well, which will let him keep up better with other people. Mm -hmm. I think without the promotion, he has like no shot at one running soldiers. But if he gets to even like five speed, I think that'll give him a shot. We'll see though. Uh, I benched Gilliam because even when Seth is carrying around Gilliam in this map, he still doubles everything. So <laughs> I think he might just have to stay next to Erica for this map to just build a bit of support or something. And be yeah, like the killer. What's the point of all that, yeah. So why even <laughs> God. Bronze, I think he yeah. is like a proc in both strength and speed, he can one round these guys, but you can see he got an item for it so far. We almost have a seven seven six here from the Mogul. <laughs> we we tried. So he tried. She tried? Yeah, I, I was know. I was briefly when I was talking about the oh ooh, hello. She'll be fine. I was when we were talk talking about the Ross training. I was briefly thinking about, like, could he maybe get the uh, Entombed at the bottom? But I feel like, you know, that Entombed is so weird, because whoever kills it always just gets a full level, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I'm also a really good level smokes. on Vanessa. Good, Vanessa. Yeah, I think we might want to kill him with uh, Seth, honestly. Because um, Seth hasn't really gotten any bosses yet, and he would like some speed, I think, for the mid-game. Can you kill without dying here? Yes, okay, brilliant. Let's do that. I guess that makes sense. It kind of, like... Ooh, risky. There we go. It kind of like segues into the point, you know, like because you always get 100 no matter who kills it, it like might be worth it to put it on set since his EXP otherwise is so reduced. Yes. Right? Um, hmm. Can we get away with... Oh, no, we're never getting away with that. Ooh. I think we just have to kill that Rough, guy. that's a sword. Yeah. It's yeah. I kind of with... knew this would happen. We have like comb. This is pretty good. And then, like, oh, if yeah, that's hit, really good, actually. Heal. I like that a lot. Why'd you bring Colin to steal the Vulnerary from the top left later? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, I had enough slots to bring him, but not Naomi. So I was like, well, it's better to not 
to bring Cole as an upbring him, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, can I get away with this? Yeah, probably. There you go. I, I was about to debate the point because, like, oh, we need to train Nimi or whatever. But honestly, like, we're already putting a EXP into Ross and Vanessa. Like, I, I feel like a third target is just actually using the EXP of this map maybe a bit too inefficiently, <laughs> right? Is there if I kill that guy? Twelve. She probably does. Okay, so she's oh, yeah. getting that relevant. Unless, unless, how much damage you do? Eleven. Okay. So if we heal, <laughs> here we out here. We heal Erica so that Ross is lower on HP. <laughs> and that way, the relevant will go for him. Oh no. I mean that'll work, I guess. We gotta yeah, we gotta move here though, that's for sure. Eleven. Keep building the support. Yep. Okay, he has non zero defense, so he survives, and then we just heal Erica. And he should be you checked know, into attacking mm -hmm. Ross. <laughs> Maybe like the Lord priority will override it? I don't know. Well, if she does, whatever. She still gets to kill. No one else here has anything to do anyway. Um, yeah, I, I don't fully understand GBA targeting priority, if I'm gonna be honest. We might as well get the village, right? Best village in the whole series. Okay, fine, I'll get with Colm, sure. Second only to that... There you go. What do we get? He's like, if you want to kill that snag, get the Iron Axe. Yeah, I think you've mentioned this Iron Axe like three times already in the playthrough, and it's like three more times than I usually mention it. <laughs> I mean, it's a funny village. I don't know. Here you go. Oh, you were totally right. I was wrong. Look at that. Whoop. Frost dodge Ooh, animation. Cool dodge. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Usually Never if you see that animation, you did something man. wrong. Promoted to Super Journey, man. That's what you did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, true. We got to see it. Ooh. Dude, can we get some speed oh, already, please? I, love speed, though. I can't complain with that level, but God. Yeah, God. No, it's like a four-pointer on Ross. Here goes nothing. Golly. Okay, this should be the only one that Archer faces. Does he double them? I'm telling yeah. you, this eight base speed. These are zero ES enemies, racings. Come on. <laughs> I mean, listen here. Okay, actually, these are not. You're right. These are not. Yeah, Why? these are green units, so. Nope, yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, these are three AS enemies, so you know what? Fair, they're, they're okay, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Can you survive two after volning? Looks like the answer is no. Which means uh, it's going to be for this group instead. What if we fed this one to Ross too? What if we did that? Oh goodness. Oh goodness. The Ross feeding machine is overkill here. Um, how much damage he do? It's 15. Okay, so thanks to the defense point, he survives this Iron Lance without getting healed. So what we can do oh, wow. is rescue Ross after he does this. Drop him a range of just the Iron Lance guy with like an Iron Axe. And kill him. Big. Okay, uh, Artur. He, yeah, he's, he's gonna go for Ross again because the low HP priority probably. So just go like, I don't know, somewhere where you're not in range of this. This is way harder for myself than I needed to make it, but you know what? That's why we do it. Maybe... Yeah, okay, let's drop him. Oh, there's like no... Oh, there's this square, this square. He needs to go there, above the forest, so... Seth needs to canter onto the hotel. He is in France. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Go here. Yeah, I'm go pretty here. sure anywhere we go... Oh, you see it, you see it, yeah. Yes. I don't know Switch him out. Turns out game. he gets doubled. If we Wait, does he get doubled if we do this? Uh, no, because they have three AS. They, no, they have three AS, remember? Yes. Okay. Take, drop, boom. Bing at a bang. Done. Mm -hmm. And then Archer's full HP. I guess we just heal Nessa. I don't know where we put her, though. We could put her, like, on the village, you know? Oh, that's so that... Well, she, if, she, if we heal her, she probably... Oh, I guess, like, here, I guess? Yeah, yeah, like, mm -hmm. on the... Well, not, like, the village tile, but, I mean, pretty conceptually clear this is a village, right? So Yeah. <laughs> I'll just throw it here for now. It's technically the dash dash tile, I think. <laughs> the dash dash tile. Yeah, I don't know what it is. The Hades tile? The Mario Kart tile. We both play different games, I see. Okay, uh, just, just buy it here for now. I gotta feed my units. That's right, we need EXP on our lord. How are we gonna survive Erica Root without a leveled up Erica? It's, it's, you're not wrong, actually. We will not get any auto level lords either way. I guess. Well, we'll probably have to work with one in the end when we're like deciding on which route to actually use permanently for the rest of the save file. Look at that, plus one defense. Beautiful. Enemy phase Ross in trainee. It's gonna happen. What does he even get? 50 EXP for a kill still? What is he now? Like level 8? 7. Oh, come on. Oh, speed! Hey, there you go. Speed. Found it. I can double zero yes, enemies with my hatchet. There. Finally. Been Only with the hatchet so though. Doesn't he still get weighed down by Iron Axe? Uh, yeah, for sure. Oh, when he's pirate. Um, Ooh! I think he stops. Yeah, no, he still loses two speed from it. But yeah, no. 
It's fine. If you could use an Iron Lance, he would not be weighed down by that, I can tell you that much. Okay, so Ross is level 7. He gets like 30 from chip XP, so we could theoretically get him there without kills, but I'm not going to think about it too hard. You could like chip with Ross, kill with Vanessa. Yeah, some Ooh, of that. I see that. I see that square too. It actually looks really good. Like this here for Vanessa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess that could work. I just don't suffer from success, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like, you could line up the hits with, say, Arter or any other javelin yeah. guy. Oh, hello, I see it too. I like this. Dun, 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 dun. Gotta kill the most dun, far away enemy, I guess. Yeah, true. Dun, 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 Does that. Dun, dun, dun. We could jab, trade over. Oh, look at that. We could have Erica, like, trade over and then, like, player phase the one revenant. Hmm. Isn't that hmm. Ross's kill, or are we? I guess we can chip with Ross instead. Oh, that's that's true. It could be a Ross kill. Like that. I guess the point was because Ross is getting like so much exp on a chip. Well, that was the point. But at the same time, like it's right there. Yeah. And if if we get him to ten, then we know we can stop and we just feed everything else to Vanessa more easily. It's like yeah. It's Whereas easier. like imagine imagine we go through all this effort and then like something goes wrong, we aren't able to get him to ten. We we we'd look like pretty silly people if we did that. So yeah. I mean, that might happen to us either way. What, looking silly? <laughs> did, did you see that? Franz doubled something. What? No way. Get That's out. insane. And it was not a soldier. It was a monster. It's worse than a soldier. What? Yeah, that seems like kind of sus. Um... <laughs> just, <laughs> just making sure. Just making sure. <laughs> it's a 91. That'll hit, right? That'll you hit, know? right. Bye, Mo. Better yet. <laughs> okay. Erica, show Franz how it's done. Ding, ding, ding. Ooh. She's so disgusting to God. <laughs> Keeps happening. The spirit of Geen, I'm telling you. Where are we going? That's okay. Insane. Yeah, we gotta keep building the support. Yeah. If I'm not if it's I have fun. nothing to do, I will build support. Oh, I forgot to trade over, but you know Yeah, it's fine. Reduced chance of suffering from success, maybe? Maybe. Copium. I think she doubles anyway, no matter what. Yeah, she does. It's just uses mm. more expensive weaponry. Oh no. Yeah. The efficiency meter, it's going all the way down. Already already people are typing in the comp they spat out their coffee. Saying Mecca. Don't you know the Iron Lance costs like I don't even I'm not I was about to do division, but <laughs> so that's a dangerous thing to do when recording at what <laughs> nine in the morning. I well, I mean I still have my coffee, so you know. <laughs> but you spit it out, right? Because we're not. Oh true. Seeing... Yeah, it's all over my keyboard now. Oh come on. Dude. Frost, come on, man. I, I've seen, I keep telling people their growths in this game are better, and then here we are. Okay, I'm gonna... Well, that's the enemy growth, so you know. Yeah, true. I'm gonna migrate Vanessa over to this side now. I think she can handle that part, and I want to grab loots. Yeah, you can't attack the snag. You need that iron axe. So. Oh, <laughs> true. I'll, I'll use an iron axe then. There we go. Here you go. It's basically we it. it. We did it, Reddit. I'll bring more reinforcements to bring down that snag if I have to do it. Isn't he? Yeah, he has the other iron axe, so he can also attack it. If you have it in your inventory, you can do it, right? You can. You're legally allowed to do it. I feel like any person. Well, here's the thing. Like, I feel like any person should know like how to take an axe and like cut down a dead tree. But I guarantee you, probably if you like gave me or like any any of us nerds an axe and was like chopped down that tree, would like make a fool of ourselves. You know? Yeah. You do it's not been expect a long time. gamers to chop down snags. No, be a, snag. a long time since I've had to chop firewood. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, good thing too. We came a lot. We came pretty far for our civilization to not have everyone chop firewood half the day. That's true. This is a positive overall. I think Arthur is about to get his sixth round of chip XP here. No, actually, no. He he crit that first guy in turn one. Yeah, <laughs> he, he I know. He's been stealing all their kills. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I will say, I, the kill. I think loot might be more flavorful than Arthur for the playthrough. So I'm kind of hesitant on training both of them right now. But at the same time, they're both very funny units. We're training both, but we're not gonna both take fun. we're not gonna take Arter to uh, Erica route because of the one extra monster map. Is it one extra? Yeah, it's one extra monster map, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, because oh, you have eleven and twelve. That's it, right? I, yeah, Ephraim has like eleven and twelve as well, but twelve is like half of a monster map. You know, like it only half. -a? It only halfway counts. True. I guess so, because I always like. I, I always viewed Erica as being like, this is the route where you fight monsters, but maybe that's just like, kind of imprinting too much of what I know from Gaiden onto this, right? Where Selica is the one who fights monsters, so obviously the girl here fights monsters too. Yeah, I never thought of it that way. I always thought of them as both as monster maps, but it's true that Ephraim's part has more um, non-monsters, how we call them, humans. Okay, you got the snag, break it down. Mm -hmm. 
You got the axe. Let's go Nessa. So how many more does Ross need? He's actually like cutting it a little close, I think. 865. He's he should be there. I mean we'll we'll get this reinforcement group from the back and that'll oh, help true. too. True, true, true. We can give, give those to him. That should be four. Maybe he won't get all four, but he'll get some of the four. Yeah, one of them has a fetid claw, you gotta watch out. But, yeah, 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 know. definitely watch out for that. Okay, this is like pretty safe for Nessa because of weapon triangle. Yeah, weapon triangle. Did, did she get a defense level earlier or she's still at six? I think she's still at six, right? She should still be at six, if I recall. Okay. Let's see her go, though. Another level. Okay, Ooh. all right, all right, let's go. Pretty good, pretty good. see it. I think this is base plus one strength, if I recall. Nah, base plus two. I think she starts four. She starts with four? Actually, no way, right? Because people nah. would really fuss. Yeah, people would be mad. Four strength? That's cringe. Except if you're Lin, that's then it's fine. <laughs> yeah, if you're Lin, then you're, like, the fan favorite forever, right? Yes. When is she going to be in Smash? Like, Wait, wasn't she one of the first FE characters to get into Smash, technically? Like, uh, like yeah, actually, yeah, because she was a assist trophy in Brawl. Yeah. There we go. Your your Lin lore is much better than mine, apparently. Very progressive for them to make a woman a trophy. I know. <laughs> Listen here. All right, this is really important, Mecca. One of these revenants has a suitable phone. You can't miss it. Wait, really? Yeah. Insane. In the top left. Damn. That's insane. Um, okay, so Ross is getting the guys in the top, so we can feed these to Vanessa. That's fine. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, no. If she took a hit, then like this would be kind of more sus, but yes. she didn't, so we're fine. Yeah, no, we're totally not Red Amogus. We're fine. Get in here, and then so... Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I guess I didn't field comb for nothing. There we go. That, that, wait, wait, you didn't know that? I seriously thought that's why you were fielding <laughs> no, comb. No, I just was like, oh, I'll just field comb, I guess. Like, you have like two units you have to not, you cannot deploy, so I, un I unfielded Gilliam and uh, Naomi. That's really the default that it came to. Like, I'll just bring this unit with six move instead of the other units. I guess so. You're, you're still holding out hope for Franz to get a good level, right? So. Well, I guess I can try on this guy if I really wanted to. Why not? Is he actually at level EXP or no? He's at 89. I hope it's enough. It's better. Okay. Remember, Mecha. He's about to become your favorite unit. Oh no. Stop. Please get, like, Please. anything. Nope! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! All right. I just recruited what forward! Of, what do you think of him now? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, hit Oifi, check the bases of a Ford against this shit. Yeah, there's I'm gonna pretty be sure like... Ford is just all around better than this. Yeah, just well, I, I think we did the math on like the HP is higher, and that's it. Like, I cry. which is not much consolation because I think like the defense and the res are both smaller, so like he's still he's still less bulky even with the HP. I cry for eternity. He, he's. Better for training your healers, I guess. I don't know. I got nothing. He's he's so bad, this friends. To be fair, he's literally out here playing zero percent growth. So like, you know, what's it matter? Okay, if I put Colm here, I think we can finish with uh, Ross afterwards. Yeah, that should be fine. You got one as well. I think the guy with the vulnerary too. He actually like doesn't attack yes. the first time, or yeah, I only learned that very recently. Maybe if you hit him in the face, then he starts attacking. I'm not sure, but I I think it might be the mm. AI from that soldier earlier that's like move or attack but i can't do both he's like he can only do one thing at once no oh, really I, I did learn that when you said hey it can move or it can attack like i should no idea that soldier had that parameter yeah i think i learned that from uh the Don no dude Come on, stealing he's robbing us he's robbing us I, we should have known i bet he cool. took that mirror again too it is pretty cool that Colm can get like more xp than most units because thief is uh considered a weaker class so he gains more xp that's but, true. It's like roughly 50% boost. I mean, it's not yeah. exactly 50% boost. It's like kind of oversimplifying it, but it's kind of. It's it's 50% boost, just like how, you know, Fate's RNG and Echo's RNG is like 1 RM plus 2 RM, depending on how much hit you have. It's technically not entirely true, but it's it's kind, yeah. of, it's kind of there. It's basically there. It, it's close enough. That's more mm -hmm. or less what happens. Oh, we could have given that kill to loot. I'm yeah, we um, could have, but, you know, we'll, we'll grab her in a second. Okay. Yeah, we got to get the Vanessa anyway, so. Yeah. Um, so Ross is still not at full health, but that's why we dropped Mulder over here, so he can help with that. Mm -hmm. And then I guess we can It might be the case, even with the Fetid Claw, where, like, we might actually just, like, use Seth with it, but that that's, like, only if I doubt our understanding of the whole so you survive, attacker. He survives both of them. Oh, really? Yeah, these two. As long as the Fetid Claw doesn't attack, which I don't believe it will, we can, we can totally test this. I'm, I'm down for risking everything to test it. <laughs> risking uh, the whole Ross, yeah. The, the whole Ross. 
I mean, we could also just like hand axe with Garcia to chip and then like walk in and melee hatchet or Garcia something. Knows right? how to, so. Oh, I guess he does know how to chip. That's true. There you go. Wait, but is that it, less it, strength than Ross? Uh, wait, what? Right I now? mean, probably. Yeah, at this point, oh because it's base Garcia versus level 8 Ross. So <laughs> not the fairest of comparisons there, but yes, technically true. Yeah, um, no. Okay. I'm worried though, because I think if Santa Claus attacks, it's still the same thing. Like he dies to 18 attack plus 12 attack, right? 18 is yeah. 14, yeah, so... I wonder if we just, like, use Seth to kill one Revenant. Like, come on, it's one Revenant of EXP, and it's, like, makes Never. the whole situation completely safe. <laughs> Never. Anything but that, no. Alright, here's what I'll do. I'll do this with Garcia. Mm -hmm. Get the kill with Ross. And then I try to position him so that only one guy can attack him. Anyway. So, like, let's hmm. say move Colm here. No, wait, I would get Colm exposed as well. well. We'll have Seth help out too, so we'll go over here. Have him get this kill. Oh, I see it. That's really good, yes. And then I Colm was wondering what you were not doing. The next guy. <laughs> but no, this is totally right. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, Look speed. at that go. Hey, speed, speed. nice. Speed. I was going to ask, would you rather get like speed and nothing else, or would you rather get everything but speed? That's that's what it, that's what he can't decide on either, he's just flipping it up all the time. Okay, so, yeah, so Colm can only get attacked once, and Ross can only get attacked once as long as we put Seth like right here. Uh, and in fact, we can take away all his weapons. <laughs> For a sec. There we go. Put him this, away. There we go. We should have done this turn one, you know, it'd be kind of handy. <laughs> nah, 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 that, it's kind of hard to be an emergency attacker without your weapons. All right, should we train forward on that Revenant? No, I'm kidding. Um... <laughs> okay, so he didn't attack the Fetid Claw guy. We were right. right the whole time. We knew it. Oh, come on, Ooh, dude. Another miss? Another miss. Well, it's 77. It's a guy in the forest. I can't be too mad here. Yeah, no. Ross is just, like, showing us the, the miss animation. He thinks it's, he thinks it's really cool. Mm-hmm. So. It is pretty cool. I want to do Ross's, like, close-range Iron Axe attack, but it's kind of risky. <laughs> but I want to yeah, see no. him, like, do his little stupid bonk. Before he uh, promotes, sick yeah. move, Vanessa, though. Yeah, she's so good. She's so good. Let's train Lutus. We gotta, right? yeah, give one kill to loot. You <laughs> might as well. She's so good. Let's get loot. Dunk. X X loot X X. Go. Yes, the the perfect the perfect meme. The only F E A meme. All right, loot arena. So. Um, Lute is pretty much Arthur's counterpart. She is more focused on magic than on speed. You can kind of tell by their bases and their growths. Uh, she uses anima magic instead of light magic, which is more powerful. So she'll generally do more damage than Arthur, but have a little more trouble doubling. And the difference is... Like, it's easier to emphasize the differences to Arthur because we just talked about him. And they have a lot of the same traits, like low durability, um, low... Uh, defense especially. Better luck though, so she doesn't get crit as much. Uh, different promotions as well. She promotes into either Sage or Mage Knight, and for her, I think it's a little closer than Bishop versus Sage, but I still prefer the not Sage option. Mage Knight gives her two extra move, whereas Sage only gives her one, so that'd be seven moves instead of six. Not as much as the eight that like Paladins have, but it's still enough to reach targets more efficiently. And Mage Knight also comes with a bigger boost to her constitution, which is not a, one of Loot's weaknesses. She does not have the speed to use fire without being weighed down. Right now she has three cons. So effectively, uh, this is the lightest fire tome you get, or the lightest anima tome you get, and it weighs four. So just like Nino, for example, she's weighed down perpetually by anima magic until she promotes. So she basically joins with six base, base speed, and that means she doesn't double most of the time. Um, but as we've seen, there are enemies slow enough that she can still double, like soldiers, uh, renovants, etc. But she does need a little bit of help in the speed department. If she gets a doubling though, and her magic grows as nicely as it should, then she turns out really well offensively. Just gotta keep her safe. And the ability to use stabs after promotion is welcome. I didn't really talk about it too much with Artur, but this game does have a lot of like good stabs that she can use after promotion. I believe either way, she gets D rank in stabs, so not as good as Artur's bishop promotion. But D is still enough to use Mend to patch up other units. It's still enough to use Torch to get staff rank easily on Fog of War maps. And if she just hits C, she's pretty much like you got the low hanging fruit covered. You can use uh, Restore, for example, which I find really helpful. And if you get to B, you can use Physic, etc., etc. If you get to A, you use Warp. So there's all options for loot, believe it or not, because staff grinding isn't super difficult in this game. But if you can't be bothered, you can also just feel comfortable just using her as an offensive attacker. Um, because she does hit really hard. She just needs to get the doubling. Uh, that's how I view loot. Really enjoyable unit, kind of like recruiting Nino super early in FE7. 
So personally found her really enjoyable, and I hope I get to train her in this, in this run. Um, the low res on enemies should make that fairly easy, but it might be tough with all the mouth you have to feed. What do you think, Raisins? Yeah, I mean, in, in this kind of game and in this kind of run, because we're like probably going to have to think pretty short term, I do think the Mage Knight is just like outright the better promotion. It gives better magic, it gives better... They, they both give plus zero speed, but Mage Knight gives a whole plus three con, as opposed to the plus one con from Sage, right? So, like, that's plus three attack speed with thunder and everything heavier and like only plus one with fire it's the same as sage but like still at the same time that's a lot of attack speed with very powerful tomes and so i think like her mage knight promotion is just kind of outright better for this i do think like the the main issue i think with mage knight promo and the sage promo is that i know this is really far out but mage knight does have like a pretty low magic cap overall and like that that actually is a consideration like 25 magic cap versus 30 magic cap actually does kind of turn off a lot of potential strategies and it, including some that involve like stabs or warp stabs or whatnot like loot is the only character in the game i think who can get the 30 magic mm -hmm. if we ever need that um but that might be something that's just like so specific and so niche that maybe you're just better off thinking more short term or finding something that works with 14 range warp instead right like it's it, hitting the 30 magic cap is such a dream but her magic growth is actually pretty high it's just are you willing yeah. to train her? Yeah. Like, are you willing to train her and put in the effort to actually get anything higher than that 25 magic cap in Mage Knight? The, I, I know that I'm kind of going on about magic caps for the first time in the entire thing, but that literally is the only advantage that Sage has over Mage Knight, in my opinion, right? Mm -hmm. Like, everything else is just yeah. not... Like, everything else is better for Mage Knight. Yeah, it's like, you get light magic from Sage, you get desert mm -hmm. movements instead of movement everywhere else. That's kind of about it. I guess sure. so, that... That, that does make sense, but... I, I do believe, even a Lunatic, though, sorry for interjecting, uh, I do believe that if you reach 25 magic as a Mage Knight, I think you kill almost everything in the game regardless, like 99% yeah. of the enemies with high, lose high magic and her um, access to like Excalibur later on to just double damage the monsters, like, I think she's fine with 25. Yeah, she'll... And like, as you said, as long as you can get her doubling, which Mage Knight is better at, then you'll probably be fine. I totally agree. I think in the context of this run, it might actually be better to like separate loot and order because it's a long time before we get our next magic unit. And in particular, I think on one of the routes, um, well, it's kind of going to... I actually know, yeah, on one of the routes, our next magic unit is like Ewan. Yeah. <laughs> so like... And, and this isn't even like, oh, we've we've chosen to allocate the units in this way. No, like, literally, we, we can't choose to move Sala over to Ephraim, guys. It's just not possible. Yeah. So I think this is one of the cases where I, I have a feeling either loot is definitely going to Ephraim or both loot and Ardor are definitely going to Ephraim, right? Because we, we kind of, it'd be nice to have some magic damage over there. I don't know. Just like an extra way to attack in case we feel like we need it. But, yeah, it's either that or we promote Molder. I think that's the other option. Oh, that's true. I totally forgot about that, but... Yeah, I haven't really uh, really looked at her growths or her offenses compared comparatively, but I feel like Mulder is just... I mean, you gotta promote him at 10, and then what are his stats gonna look like? I feel like True. Loot as an offensive mage is just way better. Yeah, Mulder might just be a chip bot and someone who can, like, fight armor knights and use Slayer on monsters, and that might just be about it for him. Loot is definitely more of a powerhouse if she gets to going, but I think the initial challenge will just be get her to 10 and maybe beyond just to make sure she makes it there. It's gonna be hard enough. Yeah, the fact that she's level 1 is, like, really not doing her any favors. These are, like, still good stats for a level 1 unit, though. Like, you know, if you cover that up and you said, hey, this is, like, a level 4 or 5 mage, I would honestly believe it, like, considering FE8 bases, but... Yeah, you know. <laughs> true. Alright, shall we try to feed her a kill? Let's give it a go. <laughs> Let's try. We have one shot at this. Oh, I think we'll... Do oh, oh, come animations, on, animations, 90s. Animations. Oh, yeah, animations. We gotta do Just it. This once. Uh, this. Animations and air horns, don't forget, you know, so... <laughs> <laughs> the classic. Do, 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 do. I don't know. 37 XP. You're gonna like edit in a bunch of like interventions and hit markers, right? So. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Okay, so if we feed this one to Ross, he'll be at 80 something. So I guess we just have to chip the Fetitol next turn to get our level up? Yeah, it's that, or we could like chip the Entombed. Come on, like we're not gonna kill the Entombed. But I, I do kind of agree the Entombed, mm -hmm. giving that to Seth is like pretty good. Or we could also just heal Ross, I think, and have him fight. Well, the uh, the Fetid Claw right now is not going to attack anybody. Like, oh, true. Seth, but we, we can try to demonstrate that whole thing that I, we talked about earlier by just leaving Seth here and see what it does. Oh, yeah, good do. I'll keep him off the forest for now. See mm -hmm. what happens. Yep, he does that thing. 
kind of so maybe it does have AI. So this is like the enemy that a navy could one v one. Yeah, <laughs> sending him on range over and over. There you go. Oh, don't forget to steal the phone, by the way. Um, oh, good, good call, good call. Got to maximize your profits in the V eight. Exactly. We, we already were really inefficient with that javelin earlier, right? So now <laughs> we got to do this somehow. Okay, let's see if we can yeah. get our level up from this guy alone. From the chip? No way. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Got him. Oh, I didn't see, get to show the iron acceleration. No. Oh, oh nice one. one. Nice one, Ross. Nice it's, one. it's a good level, though. That's, we that's a great level. We've earned two speed over his lifetime. I feel like that's that is excellent. You know, acceptable. Yeah. Acceptable for sure. Uh, get Cole out of there. Who did I feed that to, actually? I don't think yet Molder is healed for more than like seven HP at a time. Yeah, I might be right. It's been a lot of ones here. Uh, who did I have here? And oh, Colm, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's get him out yeah, of here. Yeah, Colm. We're good to go. To now it's just. Oh, you're gonna feed it to Erica, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna maximize my feeding. Look, it, it looks like I'm playing super cheatedly, and I am, but it's lunatic mode. I got a setup for the mid game. Plus, there's an XP bonus for early game, like a slight one. Uh, you get XP as Wait, if really? you're playing like uh, Elibut or Hector normal from FE7. And then after the Wait, rest uh... split, it turns into like more hard modey. Oh, I had no idea. It had like a chapter by chapter parameter. Yeah, it's it's pretty strange. It's like, interesting. Um, well, like I said, I only heard this from I think Toffee and uh, Retina from my Discord told me. They're like, yeah, that's if once the route split hits, the XP gain is kind of lowered. Or rather, you have a bonus pre route split. Hmm. It's kind of neat. That makes sense. Actually, I had no idea. Well. Um, anyway, yeah, we're gonna give this go to Seth again because like this guy always gives a full level, so like we might as well give it to Seth. Mm -hmm. This is the only way he's getting like fast EXP. Yes. Uh, oh, we can drop her on a river. That's right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, trivia. There we go. We maximize the trivia potential. Get him, Seth. He's green. What are you going to do? Wait, we still one round. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fair of enough. Course, of course. It's like Seth. base Seth still. Yeah, or did he ever so. level? Uh, I don't think he got a level up yet. I think we've been very diligently holding on to Gillian with him for all these chapters. Yeah, was that an actual like full level, like 100 EXP? That's so much. That was 100 EXP, yeah. And it's not like a bad level, level too. Like defense res, we'll take it, right? Yeah, for sure. I want it speed, killed all you can monsters. get it later, it's fine, yeah. I yeah, think Seth no, will get plenty of EXP. I don't think we have to be too worried about his uh, his benchmarks, but it. I, I have a feeling we'll feel like a lot of enemies with like 8, 9 HAS somewhere, and Seth is like 12, so I think it's yeah. good to get an extra level on him somewhere. and like. I mean, like you said, 100 XP, better put it on Seth. He's better gross than everyone else and lower XP than everyone else. Why not do it? Mm hmm Okay, that's the training arc. Hopefully, Chapter 5 will go smoothly. I know there's one particular enemy that I'm very excited to fight next chapter, Mr. McCartney. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> we have plenty of, uh, of pressure on us next chapter. We have some villages to save. We have Joshua to recruit, uh, Natasha to keep safe, a um, bunch of brigands coming in, reinforcements coming in. Um, chapter 5 is always like where I think difficulty starts to ramp up. So if you've been like, well, how is this lunatic different from normal vanilla, which is fair enough. Uh, I think next chapter and the chapter after that are really going to start showing like the tiny little differences between enemies in vanilla and enemies here. And as we go along, this difference will just become more pronounced. So look forward to showing you all that. Raisins, thank you for being here once again. Yeah, it was good to be on the show. All right. See you all next time. See you next time.